Hey there guys, Neil here back with an app review. So for today's review, I wanted to share an app that helps you create your own customized uh, news feed based on sites that you subscribe to or based on searches you may have done and you want to con continue getting articles from those sites. So the first thing you're going to do is install an app called mm -hmm. Feedly. So it's available in Android and for or available for Android and iOS. Uh, for free so um, I have it installed already so we'll be able to jump right into it um, and it's a pretty straightforward uh, news aggregation app you can um, subscribe to sites in one of two ways once you open it up so I'll open up Feedly and you'll see upon opening it that I already have um, two things going on the first is a number of different sites and the other is folders so for example you'll see a legacy folder that have lists and subscriptions back from when Google's um, the old previous podcast app, Google Listen, was available. So I use that to keep track of all of my um, the podcasts that I've subscribed to, to since I started listening to them. And then I have uh, another folder for news, so all the, the different news sources that I subscribe to, a generic folder for things like different, just random articles and sites and um, comics and things like that. And then entertainment, Star Wars, and technology, so that way I have those separate items filtered in. So uh, what I have here is that um, once you open the app, there's the first thing I recommend doing, is, or you'll have to do is log in. Um, you can either sign in with Facebook, Google, or via email. So I just log in with um, Google because I'm all often logged into my Google account in the web browser. So when you go to Feedly.com, you can just log in that way. I don't have to worry about passwords or uh, things like that. Um, in settings, you'll be able to do a couple of uh, useful and cool things. The first is setting your start page. So you can just have your generic home page, so articles that are um, new articles that are floating around as part of your subscriptions, things like that. You can also do must read, so articles that are um, of gener general importance, not necessarily top news or breaking news, but just things that people are reading. Um, all of the news and explore, so if you want to get um, all of your articles, just automatically jump right into it or explore for new random articles you can do that um, I have it set to auto mark as read so that way I know that once I've scrolled through that on the page I've already this is an article that I've already read or I don't really want to see it and I wanted to I only want to see new articles um, you can also have a favorite saving tool so let's say you want to save an article for later you can either save it to Feedly assuming you're always going to have an internet connection or if you want to save to Pocket or Instapaper or Evernote because you want it to read offline while you're on the plane or in a low um, internet access area, then you can do that as well. And then you also have a favorite sharing tool. So let's say you want to um, share directly to Facebook or Twitter or you want to have your Android sharing menu, you can do all of that so you easily get that menu. So I'll show you that as well in the saving tool as well in a little bit. Um, you can also, and then there's also the toggle for opening the browser directly or not. If you have it off, it'll open the Feedly browser. I have that enabled to be able to open in the web page in Chrome custom tab so it loads a page using the Google Chrome engine. Um, it does require having Google Chrome installed as well, um, so you can use that feature. Um, I have things like long press to save turned off just because I don't really need it. I'm usually reading and saving manually. Um, you can set how the font looks. So I have it set to Roboto. You can have various font sizes and um, opening animations. Uh, so nothing is a pretty standard feature there. Um, you can also have the transition option, so scroll, stack, or swipe. So I have it set to just default scroll, so it's just reading through articles and the titles. There's a dark and light theme. Um, and then also a default view. I have it set to list um, on my uh, smartphone just so that I have as many articles as possible fit to a page. You can also have magazine, cars to automatically detect and things like that. Um, so that way, um, and then the title is, takes out the summary. So that way you have more articles fit to a page. And then if you want to sign in, and then you can have be signed into uh, Pocket or Instapaper or anything like that. That way um, you can automatically save to those tools. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the settings menu. So now I'll jump into the app itself. So as you can see here, I have these, all these different articles going on. So let's say I wanna swipe through them, I'll swipe through them like that. But if I swipe the other way, actually these are just probably just the explore, but 
So it's not um, marking them as red, but you can uh, see how the swipe um, tool looks. Um, and so let's say I go into my news, let's say I want to just read some news at the moment. So I'll go into my news folder and I can see what new item, new articles are going on. I can open up, let's say this one. And I want to read more about this Viacom CEO business, but uh, and then um, it's a full article. If there's any images, it'll load the images as well. So let's say in this case of the CNN article, there is an article, there's a summary, um, something about the, uh, that news. Um, let's look for something a little bit more different. So let's say this one, no image. Um, so essentially that's it for that. And if I once I scroll through and I go back, you'll see it uh, shades out. So that means the article has been marked as red. Um, so let's say I see this and there's an article with an image um, and I don't have time to read it now. What I can do is I can hit the share button and it'll open my default Android share menu. So it may look a little bit different depending on your device and then you can do things like share as Slack or Pushbullet, WhatsApp. Um, I don't want to uh, actually save it to Facebook, but let's say I want to save it to Instant Paper, I'll do that. It'll give me the nice little um, notification that it's been saved, and I can go back, and that's that. And so that's pretty much all there is as far as articles that I've subscribed to. But let's say I want to do a search, and I want to uh, see what kind of sites there are for Star Wars. So I'll do a search like that, and I get all of these different. Uh, I get all of those different sites. So um, let's say I want to get this this particular site star wars gaming news i can see what they have um what kind of articles they have and let's say i kind i like what they're um um talking about then what i'll do is i'll hit the plus button if you um want to add it to a folder you can or you can create your own new collection so if i didn't have a star wars uh folder yet or if i want to say sci-fi movies or something i can do that so i'll automatically add it to f the star wars folder or I'll sorry, manually add it, and then it'll say success, it was added to Feedly, so I'll hit got it. So now when I go into Star Wars, uh, any unread articles from that source will show up. So a pretty straightforward thing there. So um, I'll show the um, default view. So let's say I want a magazine view. So um, I'll hit the back button. Um, you'll, you will need to get out of the app and go back in in order for that to take effect. And so when you have the magazine view, you get, if the article has images, you'll get the image and the title of the article. And then you can go in and take a look at it that way as well. I have um, different, uh, I have different settings per folder as well. So uh, you may need to adjust that as well. So obviously things like the magazine and card layouts will look a little bit um better on um, tablets and phablets on a small uh, smartphone uh, the title and um, de the list view looks a little bit better there um, so that's really the bulk of what you what um, Feedly does so uh, the other beautiful thing though is if you go to feedly.com you can add sources that way as well so if you're browsing a website and you want to subscribe to that site then you can simply copy the RSS feed, add it into Feedly, and you're all done. You can subscribe, see if you, you actually want to do it, and uh, or actually want to subscribe to it, and you're good to go. Um, the final feature I do want to talk about is a saved for later feature. So um, these are um, articles that you may have saved. So in this case, I, there's an article about the BlackBerry Priv. I haven't on AT and T getting the Marshmallow update. I haven't had a chance to read into it, but um, I saved it for later and it is now available there. Um, there is, or it does support more advanced features. So if you use sites like If This Then That, um, you can do things like um, if you had an article shared, email it to people or share it to tw Twitter or Facebook or anything like that. So that way, um, if you don't want to store your, uh, or if you don't want to automatically share an article to Facebook, let's say, or Let's say you want to share to Facebook automatically and don't have to want to have to remember doing that. Hitting save the article will allow you to do that. So it's a pretty cool feature there, a simple recipe. So if you want to ask me about that, you can always email me or uh, DM me on Twitter. But 
that's basically the bulk of what Feedly does. It just lets you subscribe to whatever sites you want. So you get the news that's relevant to you. So whether you like one site over another, you want to combine multiple sites into um, uh, combine multiple sources into one place, then you can do that. So I have, for example, in my news folder, I have uh, Business Week, CNN, Investors, Business Daily, NPR, The Economist, Time, Vox, Wall Street Journal. So sometimes there will be overlapping in the um, overlapping articles about the same story, but I get different perspectives, so I can see what Time is saying versus People or Wall Street Ver- Journal versus CNN and things like that same thing for technology how i can see what for example the verge is saying versus let's say android central or windows phone central versus uh somebody else uh cult of android versus droid gamers anything like that and i get also their um site specific um article so if uh, droid gamers is talking about a new game and for example i trust them for their game review so i can check them out and see that review see if it's something i want to install So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, consideration, or anything like that, or want me to talk about a particular feature a little bit more or find out more about a particular feature, you can email me at pateln01 at gmail.com or find me on Twitter at pateln01 and DM me there as well. Mm -hmm. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.